emergency workers scaled rubble inside Iran's embassy compound in Syria after a suspected bombing by Israeli warplanes on Monday. Tehran said the strike killed seven military advisors, including three senior commanders. The target, according to Iranian state media, was top Revolutionary Guards commander Mohammad Reza Zahedi. He had been a senior commander in Iran's elite Quds force, the Corps' overseas arm, according to the guards. You have public outcry, all right, in Jerusalem, in our land, okay? You have the heathen protesting that Netanyahu stepped down. Why? Because they know exactly what's going to happen as a re from it, a result of what they have done. Right. So exactly as the Mossad wrote it down and, perp and purposed it, that's exactly how it's going to get carried out no matter what. Although uh, Esau, Edom, all right, the so-called white European nations, they have the understanding, they know exactly how it's going to play out. Their pride, their pride deceives them. Israel bombs Iran embassy in Ooh. Syria oh. and killing commanders. Wow. Wow. Israel. Israel, they not playing. Right. They, they not know. playing. All right. Let's uh, play that clip, please. Watch they this. Emergency workers scaled rubble inside Iran's embassy compound in Syria after a suspected bombing by Israeli warplanes on Monday. Tehran said the strike killed seven military advisors, including three senior commanders. The target, according to Iranian state media, was top Revolutionary Guards commander Mohammad Reza Zahedi. He had been a senior commander in Iran's elite Quds force, the Corps' overseas arm, according to the guards. Iran's ambassador to Syria, Hossein Akbari, said Tehran's response would be harsh. Syria's foreign minister condemned the attack. Its state media cited a military source saying Israel launched the attack from the occupied Golan Heights and that its air defense system shot down some of the missiles. The strike appeared to signal an escalation in Israel's war against Iran's regional proxies. Israel has long targeted Iranian military installations in Syria, as well as the proxies. Monday's attack marked the first time Iran's embassy compound itself had been hit. Since the attack on Israel nearly six months ago by Palestinian group Hamas, which is also backed by Iran, Israel has ramped up strikes in Syria against Iran's guards, as well as Hezbollah, the Tehran-backed Lebanese armed group. They both support Syria's government of President Bashar al-Assad. The White House said it was still looking into reports about the strikes, while State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said the goal is still to prevent any possible escalation of conflict. Of course, we are always uh, concerned about um, uh, about anything that would be escalatory or um, cause an increase in conflict in the region. Israel typically does not comment on its attacks in Syria and declined to do so on Monday, although it also said on Monday it had stopped weapons from being smuggled into the West Bank from Iran. All right, so you could take it down real quick. So, brothers and sisters, if you've been paying attention, if you have been paying attention, things are escalating Sir. rather quickly. Right. Rather, rather quickly. All right, we're going to get to it, but you have public outcry. All right, in Jerusalem, in our land, okay, you have the heathen protesting that Netanyahu stepped down. Right. Yep. Because uh, you have the same thing in American soil. You got them in Turkey. You got everybody crying out. They're like, hey, stop, 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 stop. Why? Because they know exactly what's going to happen as a re from a result of what they have done. Right. Sure. Iran, they've already vowed retaliation against America. Yes, sir. They've already now they vow retaliation against these guys. It's it's the Bible is inevitable. That's right. That's the beauty of it. It's exactly right. how it's right. written. That's exactly as it's happening. And you know that's right. All right. Let's let's get a script real quick. You already know we're gonna deal with Isaiah 14 today, second Ezra 15 today. You know that already if you've been following along. All right, so let's get that. Uh Isaiah 14 and 24. Let's start right there. Watch this. 
the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 24. Mm -hmm. The Lord of hosts have sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. Mm -hmm. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. So exactly as the Most High wrote it down and, purp and purposed it, that's exactly as going to get carried out no matter what. Although uh, Esau, Edom, all right, the so-called white European nations, they have the understanding, they know exactly how it's going to play out. Their pride, yes, their pride deceives them right. because they think that they can now change the narrative as they were God themselves and create a different future or a different uh, outcome, which is not true. So the Most High knows who he created because he created them for a reason to fulfill right. a certain purpose. Bring right. it out. So it doesn't matter that they know the outcome. They're still going to play right into the Lord's hands because right. he's the king, That's not right. them. He's the one true God, not them. You understand? Nope. Now let's read 25. Come on. Verse 25. Mm -hmm. That I will break the Assyrian in my land. Now the Assyrian in his land, let's go to Ezekiel 36. All right, let's get that real quick. Ezekiel 36. Now, historically, uh, we always have to look at what the ancient Assyrians, when you go back to 2 Kings 17, what the ancient Assyrians did to our land. All right, Assyrians are heathens. Okay, they're not Israelites. They're not our people. And when we were overcome, what did they do? They, they uh, took the uh, northern kingdom as slaves. They moved into, their, into the land and possessed it. So what did your friendly neighborhood white man do? Once we, uh, 170 AD came, we migrated to Africa, okay? You had Is Islam. Something's going on with the sound, IT. I pray you're, you're uh, hearing that, and I hope you fix it. So what happened to us after 70 AD? We migrated into Africa. You had Ishmael. And I'm, I'm saying it like this for a reason, because this is some heavy stuff that's, that's coming that's out right now. Sure. Right. And I, I ain't gonna lie, I saw something today. It's, it's crazy how everything comes full circle okay so you had you had the ishmaelites which are the arabs who had us in slavery all right and then the hermetic nations had us they sold us to the white man so you, right. you always see ishmael and esau ishmael and esau all throughout our history going and coming so I just want to, I want to say that before I set up this next scripture. Read Ezekiel 36 and we're coming back to this. Watch this. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 and verse 1. Come on. Also, thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Are you in Ezekiel 36 and 5? Oh, no, sir. That was verse 1. I'm sorry, sir. The book of Ezekiel, that chapter 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. The residue of the heathen, come on. And against all Idumia. All Idumia, that's Edom or Esau, your, the white nations, come on. Which have appointed my land into their possession. Right, they did the same thing the ancient Assyrians did, right? So that's why they refer to as the Assyrians, come on. With the joy of all their hearts. So they're happy to this day, pride. Their pride, their pride. They actually think they could touch the apple of God's eye and get away with it. All right. That's what they think. Mm -hmm. All right. Think about it. If they think, think about why they so prideful. Have, have, um, give me uh, Psalms 50 real quick. All right. Let me hear this one. Give me Psalms 50 and 20 and 21. Let me hear that real quick. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 20. Uh-huh. Thou sitteth and speaketh against thy brother. Right. That's what Esau do. Remember, we are we are twins. Twin brothers, just right. non-fraternal, right? That's right. Right. All right, read. <laughs> Thou slanderest thine no, own. No, no, fraternal. 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 I, right. You have identical and fraternal. So we right. are fraternal, fraternal. twins. Yes. All right. We the righteous and they the evil twin brother. Bring it on. All right. right. Read it again. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. So that's what they do. They sit up and talk all day, every day in the news, <laughs> right. accusing us of being evil when they the ones that's evil. Right. You the thief. That's you right. the murderer. Right. And you the damn sodomite. That's right. right. That's who you is, and that's who you be. <laughs> Read it again. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Uh -huh. Thou slandereth thine own mother's son. Right. They slander us all day, every day. How they do it? In their media, Bring it out. in their movies. Right. Every you understand? Day. Come on. These things hast thou done. Uh-huh. And I kept silence. That's why they're prideful right there. 
Mm. See that? All of the evil still in our land. Right. Blaspheming against us, slandering right. us. But the Lord say, you've done all of that? I'm going to keep silence. Because they need this because they got to get themselves right. That's right. That's right. But when it come to him, nope, wrong. He think that he really doing something. No, the Lord is allowing that thing to happen. Bring it out. All right, finish right. that. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. Right, you thought that the Lord agreed with it. And that's why you're going to fulfill the Lord's purpose right there. That's right. right. Go back to Ezekiel 36. Five all the way through. Watch this. Come on. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 and verse 5. Come on. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, uh -huh. surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. Come on. And against all Idumia, mm -hmm. which have appointed my land into their possession. Watch this. With the joy of all their heart. You see that? The joy of all of their heart. Why? Because they think that the Lord agrees with this wickedness. Right, right. Come on. With despiteful minds. With despiteful minds. Disrespectful minds. Right. Bring it out. They despise the children of Israel because they think that they are us. Mm. After a while, you keep lying long enough, you're going to start believing that lie. Yep. All right, but somebody don't told you wrong, Mr. White Man. That's, That's right. right. Somebody don't told you wrong. Let's go back to the Isaiah 14. Like I said, we're going to go back and forth throughout this weather report on this. All right, Isaiah 14, and we're back at 25. Watch this, y'all. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 25. Uh huh. That I will break the Assyrian in my land. And upon my mountains, tread him underfoot. So you got to think about it. The the uh, Mr. White Man, the Israeli that's in the land today, obviously this has not come to pass yet. Right. This has not come to pass yet. Watch this. Then shall his yoke depart from off them. Mm, oh, oh. It says, then shall his yoke, whose yoke? Mr. White Man's yoke, right. depart from off them. Who's the them? Ishmael. That's, that's right. right. The Arabs. It says that. The yoke that they have on them right now, because right now they got the what? They have the upper hand. Right. They got the upper hand. So it says it's going to come a time where that upper hand is going to be removed. What did Iran just vow to do? They said they're going to get the get back. Right. That's right. They said they vowed to retaliate. They're going to respond. How right. do we know? We read it in the Bible first, and then right. the prophecies come into pass. That's right. That's right. All right. Read that part again. Watch this. And tread him un underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, mm -hmm. and his burden depart from off their shoulders. Read. This is the purpose that is purpose. Right. So the Lord made Esau to be prideful. You understand? For his purpose. What is his ultimate purpose? That he could get the glory at That's the right. end of the day. Read that That's verse right. again. This is the purpose that is purpose uh -huh. upon the whole earth. Upon a whole earth. Come on. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. Upon all the nations. Upon all the nations. Now, y'all know we've been reading it, but we're going in depth today. We're going to take some time today. Special edition Passover. Shouts out to the Lord. That's, That's right. right. Can you give it to him? Can give you give it, it to him? Right. 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 Come on, man. Second edge is 15 and 20. <laughs> Because he said all the nations. That's what he say now. Watch this. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 20. Uh-huh. Behold, saith God. Come on. I will call together all the kings of the earth. All the kings. All of the nations. Come on. To reverence me. Mm-hmm. Which are from the rising of the sun. Which are from the rising of the sun. The east. Go ahead. From the south. Mm-hmm. From the east. Uh-huh. And Libanus. Read. To turn themselves one against another. To turn themselves one against another. So let's go back. Let's go back. What's next, uh, IT? All right, read that for us. Israel strikes Iran consulate in Syria's capital, Damascus. Mm -hmm. What we know. Scroll down. Come on. Iran has promised a response after its consulate in, in the Syrian capital, Damascus, was destroyed in a suspected Israeli missile attack, killing seven people, including a top commander and his deputy. Mm -hmm. Brigadier General Mohammed. Mohammed Rezeg Zahidi, a senior commander in the in the Kurds force of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, or IRGC, and his deputy general Mohammed Hadi Hijrahimi were killed in Monday's attack, the IRGC said in a statement. Israel has long targeted Iran's military installations in Syria and those of its proxies, but Monday's attack was the first time it had targeted the embassy's compound itself. Mm -hmm. Here's what we know. All right. So they're waging war. This, right. they, they want the That's smoke. Right. They want wow. the smoke. 
All right, give me what's next. We're going in depth into the uh, Iran's response. All right, play that. I'm sorry, read it first. Iran vows to punish Israel for embassy airstrike. Play that. Fears of wider war in West Asia. Did Israel strike Iran's embassy in Syria? Iranian generals killed in airstrike. Iran vows to punish Israel for attack. Will Tehran join the war against Israel? Israel versus Iran. Israel versus Iran. Ooh. It's happening right now. Yes, sir. Right yes, sir. now. Right. right now, brothers and sisters. What's that? Revelation 16 and 12. All right. Revelation 16 and 12. It's happening. Exact. Bishop's been prophesying this for years. Right. Years. 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 Years and years. And it's literally taking place exactly how the Bible's written. That's right. Let's read that. Excuse me. The book of Revelations, chapter 16 and verse 12. Uh-huh. And the sixth angel poured out his vow Come on. upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up. Right. So as we know, the Euphrates is dried up. It's drying up. All right. We know that already. Come on. That the way of the kings of the east. That the way of the kings of the east. So it's telling us when we saw that, we should have already known this was going to happen. That's right. All right, so it says the way of the kings of the east, read. Might be prepared. Might be prepared. All right, meaning what? They're going to start getting their stuff together. Who are the kings of the east? Second Ezra 15. You know. Y'all know what time it is, man. <laughs> Especially if you watch, I mean, you watch this show. We literally go over this like every That's week. Right. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? All right, 2nd Ezra 15, start at verse 50, sorry, 28. The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 28. Uh-huh. Behold, an horrible vision. It say, behold, an horrible vision. Come on. And the appearance thereof from the east. From the east. The reason why it's a horrible vision is because everybody knows how Ishmael gets down. Right. The Arabs play no games. That's right. Mm. No games. They don't even take no games, play no games on themselves. They will they will kill themselves right. just to get the mission done. That's right. Yeah. So oh all of God. them preparing, all of them preparing. You understand? You got you got the Palestinians, you got uh Yemen, you understand Saudi Arabia, all all of these different Arab nations, right? Right. You understand? They haven't all joined together yet, but they're formulating. Right. They're formulating. Message. Okay. It says that they're gonna get themselves together, then Iran is going to take this thing to the next level. That's right. That's right. And we and now Iran has the perfect reason to do so. You understand? By uh, was that Israel bombed their embassy over there in Damascus. Right. right. Perfect reason to get involved. <laughs> Come on. Right. They've already been involved with the different rebel groups, but right. this right here is literally, damn. Yo, this is declaring war. Right. That's, That's what right. you're doing right That's there. Right. Very easy to be understood. Let's read on. Verse 29. Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia uh -huh. shall come out with many chariots. With many chariots. Come on. And the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth. Come on. That all they which hear them may fear and tremble. What verse you at? Uh, that's the end of 29, sir. 29. Go ahead. Verse 30. Mm -hmm. Also the Carmanians raging in wrath. Right. So the Carmanians, they're going to be raging. You know why? Because... Over the last three years, America has been don't no, as of late. But no, 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 no. They've 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 been going back and forth for years. Right. But as of late, last three four years, you had the situation with Soleimani, you had situation with Israel, right. Israel and America, Israel and America. All right, so they've been patient, and after every offense, they always say what we they're gonna vow to retaliate. Right. They haven't done it yet. So when the scriptures say they're going to be raging with wrath, it's because of all the offenses mm. that America and Israel has done to them. And when they decide to retaliate, they ain't going to be able to deal with these dudes. Right. All right. Read this verse again. Watch this. Verse 30. Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath mm -hmm. shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Come on. And with great power shall they come and join battle. With them. With the rest of the Arabian nations. All right. Mm. They're going to join in the battle with them. Come on. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. And we touched on who the Assyrians is. Those are the unrightful inhabitants of the land today. Right. Called Israelis. Right. All right. Let's read on. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand. It says, and then shall the dragons have the upper hand. 
Let's precept that with Isaiah 14 and 25. Okay, so we are connecting the dots here. Okay. All right, this is some hey, some serious stuff going on in the earth, brothers and sisters. Right. I hope That's you see that. Right. I hope you wrong. see that. Read that verse for us. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 25. Come on. That I will break the Assyrian in my land, mm -hmm. and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Right, we just read that in 2nd Ezra. Come on. Then shall his yoke depart from off them. Right, the yoke that Amalek, the Israelis, has on the uh, Ishmaelites is going to depart. Okay, because remember in 2nd Ezra 15 it says that Ishmael, they're going to have the upper hand. Right. Meaning what? They're right. going to have the yoke. Right. It's going to be roll reverse. It's going to be a switch. Read. And his burden depart from off their shoulders. Read that verse again. Yes, sir. Verse 25. That I will break the Assyrian in my land, and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Mm -hmm. Then shall his yoke depart from off them. And his burden depart from off their shoulders. So let's do this. Let's go to what's next, IT. What we got? What we got lined up here? Watch this. Iran vows to retaliate after strike on consulate in Damascus. Iranians protesters are calling for revenge against Israel mm -hmm. after a missile strike destroyed Iran's consulate building in Syria's capital, killing seven people, inclu including two IRGC generals. Play the uh, video at the top. Hold on, go back. Ah, man. Ooh. You seen it, right? Yes, sir. Go back. I don't know if it's going to capture it. All right, just play it. It'll come up again. Play it. Death to Israel. Death to Israel. Stop, 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 stop. So they're burning a uh, American flag and uh -oh. a Israeli, Israeli flag. flag. That's right. Okay. Y'all know where we're going. Where we going? Who thinks they know? Ezekiel. Ezekiel. 35 in verse 10. You we can't go over it enough. This ha we need to know this like that. Right. Because right. if we know this right. like that, we gotta understand that we gotta overcome our sins like that. Yes, sir. Because this is happening That's and right. it's going to happen exactly as the Lord purposed it. Right. Exactly how he said it. So knowing that it's here right now. It's not about to, it's it's happening right now. That's right. right. You understand? So with that being said, we got to get rid of our sins right now. Right. Yes, sir. We got to really right. focus on overcoming right now. This, I'm still, no, no, no. We got to do it. We have to do it. This has to be the talk every day with us because Satan's coming for us. That's right. The knowledge that we possess throughout these scriptures, the, the Holy Spirit dealing with the, the bishops, the deacons, you understand the, the scriptures, what we know, Satan's trying to take us out. Right. How is he going to do it? Through our spouses. Through brothers and sisters amongst us, through those secret sins that nobody else knows about. Because you got the key. We got the keys to the kingdom right now. That's right. right. All we, literally all we got to do is endure until that day. Satan is coming for each and every last one of us, brothers That's and right. sisters. That's right. We have to understand that and stop playing. Sure. Okay? Now's the time what? Gather ourselves together before right. the decree bring for the decree about to bring for us. Right. You understand? Yes, sir. It's right there. That's we right. got to come together in unity. Right. Bring it just out. like the scriptures tell us to do. That's right. Uh, did I call the script? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read it. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 10. Uh-huh. Because thou hast said. Read verse 9. Verse 9, uh -huh. I will make thee perpetual desolation. So the Lord says he's going to make Edom. We touched it earlier when we read verse 6, right? It says he's going to make Edom perpetual desolations. Come on. And thy cities shall not return. And thy cities shall not return. Is he only talking about one Edomite nation? No. Uh-uh. Oh. He's talking about all of them. Right. But these two in particular, watch this. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Watch this. Because thou hast said, these two nations. These two nations, and Israel and Judah. That's the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of Israel. All right. He said he's going to bring them to perpetual desolations. Because what? Read verse 10 again. Because thou hast said. Because Edom has said. And they thought that the Lord agreed with them. Read. These two nations. And these two countries. And these two countries, Israel and America, two countries where the Israelites 
uh, uh, resided originally, right. Reed, shall be mine. That is why. Because they were never yours to begin with. Uh, that's, that's right. right. Read on. And we will possess it. There you go. And they say, we will possess it, the land and the people. Go ahead. Whereas the Lord was there. At, whereas in the Lord was there. Could you go back to wow. Psalms 50? Bring it up. Do you That's see that? Right. Y'all see what the Lord is saying? Y'all see what the scriptures are saying here? Right. Mm. Read that in Psalms 50 and 20 and 21 again, please. 21, 21. The book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 21. Uh-huh. These things hast thou done, uh -huh. and I kept silence. Come on. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. Right. They really believe that. They really believe that they're God. Uh, that no, God literally said, okay, well, never. I'm done with these people. You're going to be the people right. now. They really believe that thing. They're crazy as hell. They're prideful people. That's right. Go back and read verse 12 uh, in Isaiah. 35, I mean, not Isaiah, Ezekiel 35 and 12, my bad. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 12. Watch this, y'all. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken. God heard it all. You thought he agreed with it. He just said, mm -hmm. uh, I held my peace. Bring it out. It is a, he, he heard all of it and held his peace. Mm -hmm. right. Come on. Which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, mm -hmm. saying, they are laid desolate. They are given given us to consume. Hey, isn't that like Esau's? Well, we didn't steal it. Nobody was there. Right. Liar. Lie. Wrong. Come Wrong. On, right. People was there. Yes, it's right. just the other ones, the Arabs, that also had us in slavery was there before them. Right. See, what you, dang, they, they keep coming up. Ishmael and Esau. Ishmael and Esau. Hmm, why does that keep coming up? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 